Hey guys, I'm Makima back here from the video. Guys, this is my lineup because I did get a question from Mr. Let's see his name. Hang on. Let me find out your name, my man. Community. And the question came in for Eddie Evans. When should you sell your team back? And then we have another question by LK Garcia who, who said, when should I buy my team back? So obviously, guys, I did tell you to buy, oh, sell your team during the Christmas promo. When it came down to it, my team was worth $3 million before the Christmas promo. I bought it back at $2.3 million during the Christmas promo. Obviously, I've upgraded it since then. But I was able to get eight hundred k back for my team. So I have was able to sell my team two weeks later, buy it back, and get eight hundred k worth of, you know, cards with it. So very nice in my opinion. But anyway, guys... Um, when should you buy your team back? Probably right now. Um, I recommend doing. I recommended doing it um, back, you know, during actual Christmas. But you've seen this video on the 29th. I recommend you buy it right now. Currently, my team went from three million coins, and it went down to. Let me check. Of course, it's my new squad. If you are interested. Oh crap! Did I not say my old team? I do not think I'd say my old team. Crap. All right. Well, anyway, uh, my old team is about like 2.3, 2.4 million right now. So I recommend you buy your team back. If you guys do want to buy a team, I'm sorry, if you want to, if you sold your team, buy it back now. Now, the next question is, Eddie Evans, when should you sell your team for the team of the year? You guys do not know, team of the year is coming. So right now it's week 16, or sorry, week 17. So that means this upcoming Monday, if we go to the team of the year set, where is it? Right here. We go down all the way down, not too far down because I know it's kind of stupid how it's it's not all the way down, but it's a little bit. Let's see, where is it? It's not before week one, I believe. Um, unless they updated this. No, they did not update this. So it doesn't make much sense. But if you look, if you try to find the team of the uh, year set, it's kind of confusing, but you'll find it eventually. So let's see if we can find it. Okay. Where is it? Crap. I'm probably missing it over and over again. I know it's not all the way down, but it's like a little bit. Um. Okay. Let me just look at the fives. <laughs> Eventually, that will change to 17, and then it will be the team of the year set. So, where is the team of the year set? Um, where is this thing? Team of the week upgrade. It's always difficult for me to find this. Because it's, I don't know why they decided, oh, here it is. Wow. So, it's week, okay, it's after week 15. So as you can see, Team of the Week set, I have 15 out of 16 collectibles. We need one more because this upcoming Monday will be Week 17's um, Team of the Week. And then once you complete that, so this Monday, um, this upcoming Monday, you will be able to complete the set and you will get a Team of the Year player. Now, what would that player be? So you, you get a Team of the Year item that will be used to get a player. So last year what we saw was you pretty much got a Team of the Year player. But this year is not like that. You get an item. So it might be like you get 1 out of 10 items to get a team of the year player. You know, it's just if you play your solos the whole year, you're able to do this. If you didn't, you're probably not missing out on too much. Um, Again, it's probably just, it says an item. It doesn't say player. So that means that it's going to be just a random item, not a player. And that's why I didn't do this on multiple form accounts because... It's not really going to be worth it to do just one player, one item. But I wanted to do it on at least one account to show you guys. So this comes out this Monday. Now the team of the year set is going. Um, team of the year program is going to be every single position gets a team of the year player, quarterback, every single position. I mean, even left guard, left tackle, center, right guard, right tackle, kicker, punter, corners. Um, I believe it was like. Two or three corners. There's a middle, right, and left outside linebacker. Free safeties. I think there's two free safeties, two strong safeties. Um, three wide receivers. 
two running backs, one quarterback, one fullback, all the offense alignment, and two tight ends, I believe. I could be incorrect on that, so don't what I'm saying keep me to that, but that is what I believe to be what the team of the year set contains, or what the players contain. So when should you sell your team? Now the issue is and I'm just gonna say this, I said this to one hundred percent guaranteed sell your team before the Christmas promo. Give you a date when to sell it. The problem with the team of the year set is I don't know what it's gonna do to the market. So it all depends on how good the program is. And the problem is this year we have seen so many programs that are just absolute garbage. And to be honest, like this promo right now, the Christmas promo, isn't really that great. And although, yeah, it did tank the market a little bit. I mean, I was able to make 800 k off my team, which is pretty a nice amount, don't get me wrong. It's just that the Christmas presents are not that great, and that's an issue. <laughs> I mean, the Christmas presents that was like so rare ended up just being a pack. And as you can see, this one, I'm guessing it's just going to be a stadium, and who knows what this is going to be. And then this one is going to be, I'm hoping, Derek Thomas Legend card. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like a Spencer Ware or something like that, because it's like it looks like a truck. It has a Chief logo on it. So it's like, you know, truck, and it's a chief. So kind of like a running back. Maybe it's Don Terrio Poe halfback card. Who knows? But my whole point of view, guys, is I don't know. When I when it was like, when you sell your team, I don't know if this promo, I, I feel like it's going to impact the market and you should sell your team. But I don't know that for a fact, I, like pretty much anymore with these promos. Now, I knew the Christmas promo was going to affect because of the fact that it's such a big promo. But after the Christmas promo, and you know, we had the Thanksgiving and Halloween promo, that they didn't really impact the market that much, but they at least did some. If it's hard to get these Team of the Year players, they might not. They might go for so expensive that it might be almost impossible to get them. Or not impossible, but it might not affect the market at all. The motivated players did not affect the market. And the reason why is because it was so hard to get. And if this same thing applies with the team of the year, the market's not going to be affected because the reason why the market gets affected is if these 95 overall team of the year players, which I believe every single player for team of the year is 95 to 97 overall, the reason why the market gets affected is because it's there's so many of those cards being put on the market that it th they go for cheap. Therefore, all the cards that are below that overall goes down in value. So that's the reason why we see all these cards like, you know, the team of the year um, really affect these prices of cards. It's because last year you could get the team of the year players so easily that there were so many out there. So they were like, I think, 50 to 60K for a 95 overall player. So therefore, anything below a 95 is pretty much goes down in value right away because it's useless, you know? It's like, hey, uh, why would you sell a 93 overall player for 100K or over 100K when a 95 is like 50K? So that's the reason why it kills the market and completely destroys all the prices of cards. But the fact of the matter is, if it's so hard to get these players like it was the motivators, and, you know, a lot of these programs, a lot of these um, programs in this game, this year or uh, uh, promos i don't know if this is going to affect the market that much and the fact that you had to play six if you play 16 solos right or 17 solos every single week you only get an item you don't get a player you get one item out of how many last year was 10 10 items to complete the set so you get one out of 10 items to complete the set if that's the case, those collectibles are going to be going for a crap ton. And unless they're very easy to get the collectibles, that's the only way the market is going to, you know, go really far down. But if it doesn't, if the collectibles are difficult to get, kind of like the Christmas promo Frozen Tundras, or not Frozen Tundras, I'm thinking about last year. These, um, these uh, moment, Frozen Moment collectibles... If it's hard to get them just like it is with these frozen moments, the market 
it's going to be like, it's not going to change. It's just going to be where it is right now. And although the Christmas promo, I expected my team to be worth 1.2 million. I expected it to go down 2 million coins. It didn't even, it dropped 800k, which is still a lot. And I was able to make a profit, but it didn't drop that much. And I kind of feel like that's what's going to happen with the team of the year. I don't think it's going to drop the market. I, I mean, I know I had someone comment that and say, you know, the Halloween promo didn't really kill the market. And it probably won't because of the fact that these players are so hard to get. In previous years, it was so easy to get some of these players that the market would crash right away because of the fact that everyone could get these players for so cheap. So all the players would under that overall was kind of worthless. So, I'm probably going to sell my team. If I had to be honest, I pro just to be careful, just to be safe, I'll probably sell my team. I'd say you probably want to sell it by Thursday or Friday. But, if you're in doubt in any way of selling your team, don't do it. Because I don't know if this really is going to impact the market. This probably won't, honestly. But, I'm going to play it safe. Because at the very least, if you do sell your team, and let's say Monday comes around and the market isn't affected, you could buy your team back then, and it will probably be a little bit less just because of, you know, Football Outsiders and Legends and then Team of the Week coming out. So it will probably be a little bit less just because of those facts. But it's just a disappointment this year with a lot of promos and... The fact it's so hard to get the cards unless you spend money in the game. Spend money in the game is so easy to get cards. Like these gifts, the only reason I got these gifts was because I got a um, gift card for Christmas. And I was able to open up this um, Christmas uh, bundle. If you guys have not seen it, go check it out on my channel. I opened up the Christmas pack bundles. And that was the only reason I was able to get these gifts. And that's kind of sad how I had to spend money in order to have fun or even do anything with the Christmas promo. And so far, I got, what, Muhammad Sanu today. Um, I believe Russell Wilson came out. He goes for nothing. Um, Odell Beckham. Sean Taylor has been the best player out of these Christmas uh, gifts. And he, he goes for 300K. So don't get me wrong. That's a great price that, you know, you're getting out of a gift. But other than him, nothing has come out of the gift that's been that great. Now, of course, you've seen this video. I'm recording this on the 28th. So, you're seeing it's on the 29th. If this gift happens to be like... Oh, no, not this gift. If this gift happens to be Derek Thomas or some crazy legend, then I take that all back. But, so far, it doesn't seem like these gifts are going to be anything great. And I don't know what this gift is. Again, by the time you're watching this video, you know what this gift is. So, obviously, it might be fantastic, crazy, and all, you know... All the combinations combined. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I think this is Victor Cruz, if you guys are wondering. Uh, this is a signature player, so it's a random signature pack. Um, the SIG players, you know, they go from anywhere from like 20k, no, sorry, 10k for Carson Palmer, all the way up to like, I think like a million coins or something like that, like 200k, 300k. Um, people think this is Tyreek Hill. It has um, five. You know, five Christmas things. They think it's Tyreek Hill or just five random elite players, maybe. Um, this is an all-pro pack. You can see Antonio Brown right there. 84, 84. Um, this is a um, random Chiefs player. It, it looks like a truck. So, I mean, like seatbelts, like a truck has. It's a Chief. Maybe Poe. Maybe Spencer Ware. Maybe Derek Thomas or... What's that Chiefs running back's name? Um, oh, crap. What's his name? I forget the guy's name. They had a really good running back. And they I think his name was the truck or something. Uh, best running backs, let's see. Uh, what's your name? Okay, let's see if I can find out what his name was. Oh, Joe Delaney. I think that's it. Actually, no. That's not him. What's his name? You guys probably... Oh, Christian Okoye. That might be him. Oh, no. 
That's it. That's it. I actually commented down below and told one of you guys who I think thought it was. Priest Holmes. That's who I thought it was. Now, hopefully this is Priest Holmes. Obviously, we don't know. We never know with these, you know, this promo. Um, Priest Holmes, Marcus Allen played for this team. Um, Larry Johnson, Christian Okoye. So, who knows? Maybe it's one of those guys. I hope it's one of those guys. But obviously, we don't know. This Christmas present, nobody knows what it is. Um, I couldn't even begin to guess what it would be. Um, when it comes down to this one, this is just a stadium. Kind of obvious if you just look at it and you realize, like, you see the stadium in the background. It's probably just a random stadium. So, once again, guys, a lot of this Christmas promo has been a bust. And I'm hoping that that changes and we can, you know, finish very strong. And maybe this will be, oh, uh, that opens tomorrow, maybe, or today, as you're seeing this video. Maybe this will be Priest Holmes. And if it is, you know, he'll, he will probably go for a million coins or something like that. Hopefully. This is one of the rare gifts. But we do, we did see the sleigh that came out today. And the sleigh came out or yesterday, as you've seen this video. And it was a bust. So, I'm going to sell my team now. I'm probably going to... By the time you've seen this video, I will already have sold my team. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Nobody knows what's going to happen with this um, Team of the Year promo. Again, it could crash the market. But at the very same exact second, it could do nothing to impact the market. Just remember that. Keep that in mind. And thank you so much for all your support, guys. Every single video, you guys give me the best support. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you watch this video to the end, comment down below. Okay, here we go, guys. Johnny Boy Zero, Ryan 1000. That's Johnny Boy, like Johnny Manziel. Johnny, and then Boy Zero, Ryan 1000. The joke me and my friend have is going. I would love to see if you guys comment that down below. And I would also love to see who has watched this whole entire video and me rambling the whole time. So definitely, if you have done that, make sure you comment that down below right now in the comment section. If you want to, pause this video, go down and go, Ryan 1000, Johnny Boy Zero. Actually, do it like that. Ryan 1000 and then Johnny Boy Zero. Once again, Johnny Boy. Like Johnny Manziel, Johnny Boy Zero. Zero, like zero, the number zero, Ryan, all Y A N, 1000. Okay, so Ryan 1000, Johnny Boy Zero. Trust me, my friend would get so mad about that. And I just, we, we have to do that, guys. We have to do that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. Well, the issue is, and I'm just gonna say this I said this to 100% guaranteed sell your team before the Christmas promo. Give you a date when to sell it. The problem with the team of the year set is I don't know what it's going to do to the market. So it all depends on how good the program is. And the problem is this year we have seen so many programs that are absolute garbage. And to be honest, like this promo right now, the Christmas promo, isn't really that great. And although, yeah, it did tank the market a little bit. I mean, I was able to make 800k off my team, which is pretty a nice amount, don't get me wrong. It's just that the Christmas presents are not that great, and that's an issue. <laughs> I mean, the Christmas presents that was, like, so rare ended up just being a pack. And as you can see, this one, I'm guessing it's just going to be a stadium, and who knows what this is going to be. And then this one is going to be, I'm hoping, Derek Thomas Legend card. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like a Spencer Ware or something like that. Because it's like it looks like a truck. It has a Chief logo on it. So it's like, you know, truck and it's a Chief. So kind of like a running back. Maybe it's Dontario Poe halfback card. Who knows? You know, it's just if you play your solos the whole year, you're able to do this. If you didn't, you're probably not missing out on too much. Um, Again, it's probably just, it says an item. It doesn't say player. So that means that it's going to be just a random item. Not a player, and that's why I didn't do this on multiple form accounts because it's not really going to be worth it to do just one player, one item. But I wanted to do it on at least one account to show you guys. 
So this comes out this Monday. Now the Team of the Year set is going. Um, team of the Year program is going to be every single position gets a Team of the Year player, quarterback, every single position. I mean, even left guard, left tackle, center, right guard, right tackle, kicker, punter, corners. Um, I believe there's like two or three corners. There's a middle, right, and left outside linebacker, free safeties. I think there's two free safeties, two strong safeties, um, three wide receivers, two running backs, one quarterback, one fullback, all the offensive linemen, and two tight ends, I believe. I could be incorrect on that, so don't, what I'm saying, keep me to that, but that is what I believe to be what the team of the year set contains, or what the players contain. So, when should you sell your team? Now, Crap. I'm probably missing it over and over again. I know it's not all the way down, but it's like a little bit. Um. Okay. Let me just look at the fives. <laughs> Eventually that would change to 17. And then it will be the team of the year set. So where is the team of the year set? Um. Where is this thing? Team of the week upgrade. It's always difficult for me to find this. Because it's... I don't know why they decided... Oh, here it is. Wow. So it's week... Okay, it's after week 15. So as you can see, team of the week set... I have 15 out of 16 collectibles. We need one more. Because this upcoming Monday will be week 17's um, team of the week. And then once you complete that... So this Monday... um, This upcoming Monday, you will be able to complete the set... And you will get a team of the year player. Now, what would that player be? So you, you get a team of the year item that will be used to get a player. So last year what we saw was you pretty much got a team of the year player. But this year is not like that. You get an item. So it might be like you get one out of ten items to get a team of the year player. Hey guys, I'm going to give it back here for another video. Guys, this is my lineup because I did get a question from Mr. Let's see his name. Hang on. Let me find out your name, my man. Community. And the question came in for Eddie Evans. When should you sell your team back? And then we have another question by LK Garcia, who, who said, when should I buy my team back? So obviously, guys, I did tell you to buy, oh, sell your team during the Christmas promo. When it came down to it, my team was worth $3 million before the Christmas promo. I bought it back at $2.3 million during the Christmas promo. Obviously, I've upgraded it since then. But I was able to get eight hundred dollars back for my team. So I have was able to sell my team two weeks later, buy it back, and get eight hundred dollars worth of you know cards with it. So very nice in my opinion. But anyway, guys, um, when should you buy your team back? Probably right now. Um, I'd recommend doing. I recommended doing it. Um, back you know during actual Christmas. But you've seen this video on the 29th. I recommend you buy it right now. Currently my team went from three million coins and it went down to let me check. Of course it's my new squad if you are interested. Oh crap did I not save my old team? I do not think I saved my old team. Crap. Alright well anyway uh, my old team is about like 2.3, 2.4 million right now. So I recommend you buy your team back if you guys do want to buy a team. I'm sorry, if you want to, if you sold your team, buy it back now. Now, the next question is, Eddie Evans, when should you sell your team for the team of the year? If you guys do not know, team of the year is coming. So right now it's week 16, or sorry, week 17. So that means this upcoming Monday, if we go to the team of the year set, where is it, right here? We go down all the way down, not too far down because I know it's kind of stupid how it's it's not all the way down, but it's a little bit. Let's see, where is it? It's not before week one, I believe. Um, Unless they updated this. No, they did not update this. So it doesn't make much sense, but if you look, if you try to find the team the uh, year set... It's kind of confusing, but you'll find it eventually. So let's see if we can find it. Okay. Where is it? 